Welcome to Daily CoinQ Crypto News. Here are today's headlines. The State Bank of Vietnam will propose a system for digital currency. The Pi Network app suddenly disappeared from the Play Store. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong is accused of being a profit scammer. Despite the backlash, Ubisoft will proceed with its NFT plans. The Central Bank of Russia allows foreign corporations to invest in cryptocurrency. Now let's dive into the details. The State Bank of Vietnam will propose a system for digital currency. First and foremost, the State Bank of Vietnam will finish the legal framework, mechanisms and policies, including researching and proposing mechanisms and policies on national digital currency and formulate and submit to the government for promulgation a decree on a tool for controlled testing of financial technology or fintech activities in the banking sector. Simultaneously, this agency completes the legislative framework as well as the current processes and regulations, adopting suitable policies on cashless payment service fees, providing favorable circumstances for users to use cashless payment services at a fair cost. The Pi Network app suddenly disappeared from the Play Store. According to the test, the Pi Network application is no longer available in the Play Store. When searching with the keyword Pi Network, the results only include the Pi browser to access some features. Below are apps unrelated to Pi Network. The link to the Play Store of the Pi Network app is still displayed when searching on Google, but clicking on it shows the error message. The requested URL was not found on the server. In the meantime, the Pi Network app is still available on the iOS App Store. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong is accused of being a profit scammer. Patrick Joyce is developing Knowledger with technical and financial support from Mousebelt. Mousebelt began communicating with Joyce in 2018, but it wasn't until May 2019 that they completed the process and began working together. According to the lawsuit, Armstrong was secretly working on a similar project, Research Hub, and in light of Knowledger's advancements, Mousebelt alleged that Armstrong had embarked on an illegal route rather than the company acquiring Knowledger's as an incentive to pass on resources to advance its project for the time and money to save. Despite the backlash, Ubisoft will proceed with its NFT plans. Despite widespread criticism, Ubisoft has stated that it will not abandon its NFT ambitions. Ubisoft Quartz, its NFT platform, was launched earlier this month and it began issuing tokens for its Ghost Recon game. Didier Genevois, the company blockchain technical director, said that the business would continue to cooperate with NFTs despite criticism. Genevois stated that the company had considered both the encouragement and the concerns of individuals who provided suggestions. He also described the adoption of NFTs as a major change that will take time. The Central Bank of Russia allows foreign corporations to invest in cryptocurrency. Russia continues to send mixed signals to the crypto market as more reports provide details on the country's upcoming crypto regulation. Shortly after Russia's central bank governor, Elvira Nabulina, announced the bank's intention to discourage the local financial system from using cryptocurrencies, another prominent bank executive made it clear that cryptocurrency investments in Russia would remain legal. However, there will be one crucial condition. Russians can only invest in cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin through foreign companies, said Vice Governor Vladimir Chistyukin, according to a report by the state publication TASS on December 20th. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the CoinQ channel to stay up to date on the latest news.